Hello everyone. <laughs> it's been a week, hasn't it? Oh gosh, it's poking me. <laughs> Got my wretches hooked on my thing that hang, holds my hair dryer. How are you all doing this evening? I hope you guys are doing well. I uh, wanted to get on here this evening, uh, just jump on here and paint this cat. Hey, Tammy. Um, wanted to paint the, um, the little additions to the, the cat. Um, you all had suggested, sorry for the background noise. We've got a four-wheeler, or not four-wheeler, side-by-side coming in for a landing. Let me get my iPad situated here so I can see comments. Oh, I can see comments. Oh, so maybe Facebook's being nice. <laughs> and they're letting me see comments on my phone. Sometimes I can see them and sometimes I can't. Hey, Nancy. Hello. Hey, Tammy, Nancy. Welcome. Welcome. All right. Okay. So I'm going to see if I can see. Yeah. Turn myself down because I don't want to hear my hear me. Okay, cool. All right. Welcome. Hello. Let me get this down here so you all can see the cat painting. I'll move you in a little closer. So there, sorry for all that wiggly wiggly. All right, here we go. All right, so you guys have given me a huge list. I drew some of them in already uh, in preparation for the event, and we'll see how this goes. So you all doing good? Oh, good deal. All right. You all say hey when you jump on here, and that way I know who is watching. And if you're watching on the replay uh, later, if you're watching this on the replay, just uh, put in hashtag replay or replay. That way I know that, that you came on later and watched it, because I don't know who watches them if you don't say. And it's also helpful. So I'm going in with the black, and I'm painting in the cats. I had a request for lots of things. So if you're on here and you requested something, uh, I may be painting what you uh, what you had requested. Uh, there were uh, quite a few things, so I tried to work them all in. Uh, but it may be that um, I can't get them all one here. But, uh, you know... You, you can only do so much. You don't want it to be too busy, I guess I should say. So, hello, Amber. Welcome to you all. If you're new, say hey, and you're new watching, or if you've been watching with me for a while. Um, some of you are, are on here quite a bit. Uh, I'm painting in acrylic. Um, my name is Karen Wolf, and I'm an, uh, I'm an artist, I'm a painter, and I teach, um, I teach you how to paint and become a better painter, uh, online in my, uh, video tutorials, and I have a couple memberships, so I sell online tutorials and have a membership, so, uh, and then I come on here on my, uh, Facebook page. And that's going to look like horns. And paint uh, with you all in here. So, yeah. I'm just trying to get some cat ears here to look like cat ears and not a set of horns. Make them look similar. And this brush isn't cooperating with me very well. So, anyhow, that's what we're doing on here. We're painting. I come on here and I, I paint with you guys live. And also, uh, like I said, I have a website and offer stuff on there. Currently, I have a, a sale going on. A 25% off sale, as a matter of fact. Um, and you can purchase my online tutorials at artbykarenwolf.com. And there's a coupon code, Autumn Sale. All you have to do is at checkout, type in the word Autumn, no space, sale. Just don't put any spaces in between there. And you get 25% off. And those tutorials, you get the video 
the template. And uh, supplies list. Lots of fun. Lots of different ways you can paint with me. And one of them is, is right here. You can paint with me on here. So I'll offer these so you guys can see um, what um, what I do have on the on my website. And it's similar to this. Similar. Okay, so one of the things that you all said you wanted. One thing was just the simplest thing ever that I forgot to put in here was whiskers. So we're going to put some whisker, whiskers on the cat. How could that be? Just forgot whiskers. And then this cat will have some whiskers. And then um, you all said you wanted to have a friend. And there it has a friend. And I thought rather than just one friend, it might look more balanced if we had two friends. So we're going to have two friends. There were lots of cool ideas, lots of really cool ideas. And these are just easy shapes, just painting in these cats, just circle, oval, just painting them in with black. I hope you guys can see that. I usually come in here, uh, I usually go live on Mondays. Um, I try to be um, on here, be pretty consistent, consistent with it and come on on Mondays and Thursdays. And Monday was um, not a good day for social media. <laughs> I don't know if you guys missed that or if y'all uh, caught that or not, but it was uh, it was down most of the day, and then I had something I was doing too, and so I said, "Shoot, I'll just I'll just get it." Tuesday, and then of course Tuesday I didn't. And I thought, well, I'll get it Wednesday. And Wednesday I didn't. So here I am. That's so cute. I gave the one I painted as a gift this past weekend. I'll have to paint another one. Uh, yeah, you've been really painting a lot, Tammy. I'm so thankful. Uh, you've really been utilizing the the freebies on here, <laughs> and you're in the membership, so you're getting double time. Uh, Tammy's one of my all access members. She's in my membership. So she's, uh, she's into, to all of the membership paintings. And, uh, I should have made that tail go the other way. I wonder what that would look like. Um, but she's in my all access membership. So she's, she's getting the, the whole shebang, which is, which is really pretty awesome. And she painted the tree the aspen trees this one which i think is beautiful uh she painted this one with the palette knife it's in the all access membership uh and available uh to purchase on my website and she painted it and it's really cute but she's painted the oh my goodness what all have you painted you painted all kinds of things tammy you're just on a roll just staying busy with it, which is fun, which is good. Um, it's good to practice, really good to practice, really good to keep painting and stay busy with it. And, um, it's just like anything else. If you, um, if you don't keep practicing, if you, you don't use it, you lose it. You ever heard that saying, if, and I can't do that with script liner. I don't know why I'm trying. Um, 
if you don't use it, you lose it. And that goes with a lot of things, and painting is definitely one of them. Uh, it requires um, practice, and I mean, you just have to be obedient and, and do your thing. Because if you don't, uh, trying to get more comfortable with your paintings and stay busy. Uh, yeah, um, and the more you paint, the more comfortable you will be at it. You'll get, um, you'll practice and you'll get more comfortable with it. You'll, uh, you'll know which brushes to use for which things, uh, come easier for you and, um, what, you know, the color blending will come more natural to you, all kinds of things. So it's, it's really, um, it's really good to, to keep practicing and keep with it. And a lot of people say, you know, they don't have time, but you really don't have to, I mean, you don't have to paint for hours in a day. Uh, you can just paint, just paint for 30 minutes or something. Um, so we're going to put some stars up here in the, the sky. One person had said they wanted to do some stars. So I'm going to make some that are some bigger dots and some little dots, just some, Hopefully it won't look like snow, and we'll do a little look of some stars. It's just some. Stars. Okay, don't get down too low with your stars, Karen. Okay, so we got some stars going on up there. Make it look like it's nighttime. And then, what else was somebody saying? They said they wanted, um, someone said a roof and a tree. Um, I was going to add that, but I'm not sure, um, I may do a tree, like, over here, like, on this side, um, that might work, and we'll do a spider, uh, someone said a spider, several people said spiders, so we're going to do that. But yeah, I've been painting a bunch of um, Halloween little thingies for for on here. Um, there's some cute stuff on the website too. This this little cat's a, a Halloween one that's on the website. Um, this one's real cute. Hey Pam, comes with the um, video and the tutorial or the video and the tutorial. The that's the same thing. The tutorial and the um, supply list and the tracer template, whatever you want to call it. And then um, the online, or online, the Facebook videos that I've had. The cat back there with the jack-o'-lantern, that was, I did that, painted that on just here on my Facebook page. There's a lot on my Facebook page, and there's a lot in the on the website and you'll never be bored <laughs> if you like to paint <laughs> you never be bored all right so we're going to do a spider um here i was going to do him um on the hanging down thingy there we could do one um, just crawling these little thingies were a little bit I tell you out back when I go to feed the cat 
I've got a, a cat out back on the deck. She won't leave the deck. She lives on the back deck, but she, um, when I go out there to feed her, there's, uh, this time of year just creeps me out. There's spiders all the time out there. Um, like up where the lower deck goes to the top deck, the upper deck, there's a space where the, um, a spider has built a web right there and just creeps me out. Oh, I hate spiders so badly. I just do. Oh my gosh. They're just, whew. They're scary to me. They just scare me. I hate them. Um, and the, the thing that gets me is, is when I'm not thinking about it, I, they, um, I walk through and touch the web. <laughs> that just, I hate that. Oh my gosh, I hate that. All right, so then someone said pumpkins. So we can make the decision to make them pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns. Which are we going to do? Are we going to make them pumpkins? Or jack-o'-lanterns. That's a fun one to do on the All Access. Um, yes, Tammy, that one is. Uh, that You did that one. I'd forgotten you have painted that one, didn't you? Um, that is the funnest painting. That cat, I don't know what it is about that one. This, I just have no idea what it is. But it is so uh, relaxing. It's a therapy painting. Uh, and I say that all the time, and a therapy painting <laughs> is one that, um, you just, uh, can, you're just so relaxed, and it's so fun, and it's just, uh, and, uh, I don't know, you just feel so good painting it, it's just a relaxing, fun painting. It just is, so... Um, those are nice. You gotta, you've gotta do those every now and then. You just, you have to take, um, uh, take time to paint those types of paintings for sure. Because they are, um, uh, they make you, they take you away. Like a cow gone bath. <laughs> <laughs> they take you away. Oh, hey, Carolyn. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Y'all say hey when you get on here. Uh, I uh, I really appreciate that. All right. So I'm just putting in color down here, just getting this first coat in. So you also gave it away <laughs> along with the cat on the fence. Well, that's there's nothing wrong with giving your paintings away. Um, you get so many of them, you've got to, um, if you paint a lot, you've got to either give them away or sell them. Um, yeah, you might, you might start, uh, selling your paintings. I know that's what happened to me. You don't, um, you don't realize, you know, people... Uh, people that don't do this, people that don't paint, they just, it's, to them, it's, it's like, you know, it's like magic. Can you all see that stuff down there on the bottom? You can. Yeah, you can. I think. There's a shadow down on the bottom of my phone. Hey, Pat. <laughs> How are you? There's a shadow down on the bottom of my phone, so I can't hardly see sometimes what I'm, what's there. Um... But when I uh, first started painting, um, I uh, was painting slates, and I sold a bunch of them. And then I started painting paintings and, and started selling them. But, um, yeah, people that don't paint. Um, now, I don't know how these uh, mice are going to show up on here. I may have to make them white. More white. But yeah, once you get good at it, you you'd be surprised. The people just love art. They love it.
And I had one down here on the bottom. I should have painted him. Paint one. Oops, didn't mean to make his tail that big. Oh, you had someone to ask today if you sell them? Um, yeah, that's how it starts, Tammy. That's how it starts. You will have, um, you'll have people that will, um, admire your work, your painting style, and they'll see that you're painting, and, um, they'll buy what you, buy what you've already painted, or, and then they'll, um, sometimes they'll say, uh, well, I really like that. Can you paint uh, such and such? And then they'll ask you to paint something else. So, um, yeah. That's how it started with me. And I love it. I do. Yeah, this is going to be... Difficult to get these little mice to show up down here, but we'll see. And I'm exaggerating their little ears a little bit. Oh, I'm just going to paint one up there. And the size of them. I exaggerated the size of them a little bit, too. But, um, like I was telling you when I was painting that witch, sometimes it's good to... To exaggerate things when you're painting whimsical paintings like that because it um, it just makes them more fun and to put little hidden little things in uh, too along the way um, and really it's with these you just put a suggestion in of something and it all just kind of looks like what it's supposed to look like. So, hey, Heather and Kathy, welcome. Hello, you guys. Um, all right, so we did the stars. We did that. Probably do like a crickety old tree. Probably, probably. And just put some brown in here and do these little guys <clears throat> so got my spiders just I got all kinds of fun stuff going on here don't we okay um thinking put the tree Just kind of making it a little gnarly. To some degree. And you can do it however you want. But someone did say tree, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do a tree. And all of this is mostly uh, in black because it's in silhouette. So uh, some of the things in the front are not. So my face, my uh, what you call it, is dying on me. 
Hey, Heather. Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Make them ice brown. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. Thanks for the suggestion. <laughs> I, for some reason, I can't see the... I can't see the comments on my phone. That's so weird. Thank you for that, Bo. I think, Tammy, that was you? Yes, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate y'all's comments on here, you know. I don't know what I'd do without you. After a long day at work, sometimes I can't come up with things. <laughs> My brain's all done for. And then when you do the the branches, you can just wet it a little bit, get a little bit of wet on your brush, and uh, so you can get some loose. Make sure your branches get the skinnier as they go out, guys. That's one of the biggest things. One of the problems that that people have is trees they just keep getting bigger and bigger with their branches so don't do that so hey melissa <clears throat> and i drew on there with the chalk but don't um don't worry with trying to follow the exact uh, lines and things just do whatever you don't, you can wipe that chalk off whenever you get done it's just a guide it's just a sort of a road map <laughs> you may uh, you may end up getting off the road a little bit. That's okay. For you all been following me for a while, I finally got my, y'all notice my eyes are back to normal. <laughs> I'm back. I have had a heck of a time with my eyes and I've had sty problems in my eyes for months. Um, it was a year, uh, September, last September I started getting them, and I finally got rid of them, thank goodness, and I, um, uh, went to my eye appointment, I had an eye exam this week, I was so excited, I got a, a good report, he said my eyes looked really good, so that was good, I can see again, and I don't have to wear my glasses, <laughs> um, yeah, so, that was crazy. It's uh, the things we take for granted. Don't ever take your eyes for granted. That is something, I'm telling you. Very thankful that they got that straightened out. Okay, that, I think that was good. That was a good idea. The tree. That was a good one. Let's see. Uh, Tiffany suggested stars. Uh, Kelly suggested a roof uh, of a house or a tree. So we got the tree. 
and we got the stars. Um, Ginger said a side view of a kitten, but I did the back view. Uh, and she said pumpkins. Someone, I don't know who, said a spider in the grass. No, Ginger said the spider in the grass, too. And then Kathy said whiskers. Elizabeth said a, a whiskers and a mouse. Um, Sarah. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. <laughs> hey, Sheila. Uh, Sarah said um, a kitten facing forward, leaning over uh, to catch a spider and some fall flowers. So that one I didn't do. That one, maybe I'll do it on a painting by itself. That would be cute. Um, and the other one was, um, what is that? A cricket? Uh, pumpkins and a spider going down the wall. So, uh, let's work on some brown mice. See if they show up better. These are fun little things to do. Um, I've seen several really cute um, scenes with um, like uh, just a bunch of different things in the, like a barn and the, you know, um, with the barnyard scenes and Halloween scenes and fall scenes. It's just some cute stuff. But these are the, the fun, little fun things to do. It's not a very good mouse, but it'll work. Got these ears great big. But you can tell they're mice, I guess. That one, not sure of. Okay. Um, I think that's all of the things, that, all the, um, flowers. I was supposed to add some fall flowers. That's what I didn't do. So, we'll do some, I don't know what a fall flower would be other than a mum. Oh, we need to do more to the pumpkins, too. So you all, did you think um, jack-o'-lanterns or just leave them pumpkins? I don't know. I think I like them just pumpkins. 
Okay, now we need a little bit of light. I do use my finger for blending. I just do. Do, do, do. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of grass down there. Since I had grass, I'm going to put some There. And somebody said a spider down in the grass. how good of a spider that is. You'd think I'd know how to do uh, I know they have eight feet. Um, as many of them as I've seen out back. <laughs> they're just creepy. Creepy, creepy little creatures. Um, and I think that's all. Except for the orange flowers. What kind of fall flowers are we going to do? Just some orange and yellow flowers. I don't know what kind of fall flowers. I guess mums. You have mums in the fall. I'm just kind of making something up as I go. <laughs> oh, thank you, Heather. Sometimes you just have to go go for it. Just do it. I just thought it would be fun for you guys to see. Um, See the things that you suggested come to life. Mm, don't have much time really on these lives to to do a whole lot, but. There we go. Now I'm going to dry it and wipe off my chalk lines. I've got a bunch of chalk lines up there around my cat.
Then you could do um, an owl in the tree, couldn't you? There's all kinds of things. You could just keep going. <laughs> just keep on going. Too wet. Oh, I just see something I missed. Does anybody see it? Do you see what I missed? What I forgot? What is that? A piece of the canvas. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Heather. There's Beth. Hey, Beth. You all see what I missed? See what I forgot? Oh, shoot. Threw my paper towel in my water. Y'all don't see it? Or is it just lagging? So thank you. It's black. The whiskers. And this little kitty cat. I forgot them. How about that? Did we do good? Ah, Nancy guessed it. Cat whiskers. That's right. All righty. There we go. Fun, fun, fun. Now that was that was a fun one. It's fun whenever you guys interact. It's more fun when you all get involved and I don't I don't just make up all, all the stuff. I need to do something there. All right. There you go. Did you all like that one? I like it. Do you all like it better now or before? <laughs> you all like it with all the stuff on it? I think it helped. This uh, kids right here needed some some work. All righty, I think we've done it. We're good. Go call it done. All right. You like it now? <laughs> oh, good. I do, too. I think it looks a lot better. I think that uh, that really made a big difference on that painting. I think it made, a, made it look a lot better. So, don't you all forget about the, um, the text. If you all haven't texted me yet, text 304-245-9690. Screenshot that, and uh, when you get off here, text it to me. Text Let's Paint, and that way when I, y'all see that, 304-245-9690. Um, just text Let's Paint to that number, and um, that's to me. That That is a, a text that I use. Um, I can we can communicate with each other just like a regular text, um, but it's really great because I can send like a group text out to um, 
all of the people that are um want to see when I'm getting ready to go live on my Facebook page. Um, to I have a group set up for my all access all access members where I send them a text when I'm going to go live in that group. Um, and it's really cool. Um, I sent out a text the other day. Um, to let everybody know that I had the 25% off um, sale going on right now where you use the um, coupon code Autumn Sale, just all one word, Autumn Sale, um, and you get 25% uh, off the online painting tutorials that are in on my website, um, artbykarenwolf.com, in the um, virtual classes um, now through the 10th of October. Um, and I sent out that and everybody knew about that right away. Um, so you're the, you get, you're the first to know when, when something's new, something's going on, you know, whenever I'm going live and cause sometimes you miss the Facebook notifications. Uh, sometimes you don't see those. So, um, that's real helpful. And, um, I can, you know, notify you guys when I'm opening up my all access, mem all access membership again, things like that. So, jump on there, text 304-245-9690, and um, you're in. It's easy stuff, easy peasy. So, um, those of you who haven't done that yet, even if you communicate uh, with me now, like, you know, through Messenger, or um, even if I have your, you know, if you have my personal text, um, it's a way that I can quickly uh, let everybody know um, that I'm, you know, all at one time that I'm going live. And two, you can communicate with me individually if you want, if you need to ask me a question or something, um, about painting. So, there. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, thank you all so much for jumping on here this evening. I appreciate you guys. You guys are great. Um, I hope you guys are painting and that you're enjoying the paintings. There's lots of them to choose from. I have, um, lots of them on the website. These here behind me are on the website, the new ones that I just added. Um, there's a lot of stuff on here to paint, lots of free stuff. I'm on here, I'm on YouTube. So, y'all get to painting, get busy. It's fun. You know it's fun, and it's therapy. I tell you guys that all the time. <laughs> so, you all have a great evening. Um, I appreciate you guys. Um, keep painting, and jump on here with me next time, and we'll paint something else. All right. Y'all take care and have a great evening. God bless you all. And I'll see you back on here next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.